Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with me, Bregatalon. There's been a slight change of plans. Instead of starting with the Hag Survivors, I'm going to go back up this way to explore the building here. Because that's more of a loose end since we've already explored up this way previously. Uh, then we'll check out that locked building next to the Guildhall Guards and finally the Hag Survivors. I'm mostly doing it in this order because I suspect there's a hag behind the hag survivors, so there may be a climactic boss fight. But also, I'd like to finish exploring up here first. Everyone has to contribute, my darling. We all have to take care of each other. Once the washing is finished, you can. This is Joel's house. No letters, no clerics, no herb sellers, no potion peddlers, and no steel watch. Fair enough. Whatever it takes. Time has not hardened my hands just yet. One day. Something over there. Sylvanus softened my steps. Hey, right. Joel's chest key. What were you playing at running away? Sorry, old Joel, but you have nice stuff. Is this not old Joel's chest? Small iron key. We got mantras and meditations of the sun soul. And the embodiment of radiant light shining forth with the power of the sun. Just like Sunny D. I walk the path of the sun soul, radiating love and compassion to all beings. I honor the sun as a symbol of life and creation, embracing his energy as my own. With each breath, I draw on the sun's energy, renewing my strength and resolve. My inner fire burns bright, empowering me to overcome any obstacle. I embrace the brilliance of the sun, letting its rays guide my actions and decisions. Through selflessness and service, I bring the light of the sun to those in need. I'm a vessel of divine radiance, channeling the sun's energy for the betterment of all. And letter from Sylai. Father, I've heard about a risk of shortages in the city. I know you're absolutely unforgivable when it comes to shopping for yourself. But I've sent some victuals that could see you through a whole season if you pace yourself. Do it for me, hmm? I love you very much. I'll be home for a long visit before you know it. God's willing. All my love, Sylai. P.S. You tell Kathor I say hello. I've already sent Uli your love a thousand times over. You can play all you like. Token. Let's see if we can spot an interviewing reporter. Just double checking everything because we found that key. So and it didn't open the only chest that was in there, so. I didn't see this before. Uh, Brook and Peach's Emporium. Spattered with rust, you can just make out the words Tina Turkey's Good Time Bazaar. Oh, 
All right, a lot of letters and stuff. An actor's pouch. Patriarch's letter. A series of letters issued from the personal desk of a city patriarch, ap apologetically outlining that it would not look proper for a member of the government to attend the Guildhall in person. Each letter grows more obsequious before the final entry changes tack entirely. It would of course please me to attend the Guildmaster in person. We need speak no more of my debts. Concerning my debt. Asura Uktar, with the greatest respect, it is impossible for me to continue making repayments at the rate you require, no matter how many thugs you send around to the bakery. Our terms were set well before the city's lockdown, when I could still move materials freely between districts. To settle matter matters this 10-day, the representative agreed to take payment in the form of Kalimshin Knots. Look for the half-work with the sticky fingers. A business proposal? Oh, a guildmaster. It has been my honor to provide you with the finest deal this side of the inner sea over the past ten years. You've always paid fairly. The appreciation for small blades and their many methods of concealment has pushed me to improve my craft. In respect, I come with a request. Ten thousand gold to finance the next step in that craft. You've seen the clanking monstrosities lining our streets. The steel watch is a travesty, but the engineering behind them cannot be denied. The alloy in their construction is unique and completely wasted on metal men. It could do so much more fashion into arms and armor for flesh and blood fighters, and yours would have the first pick of my stock. Clerk's letter. <clears throat> a report issued from the counting house where the writer appears to work as a lowly clerk. Headbanker Glitterbeard is brutal, conniving, and entirely envious of the Guildmaster station, but I think this is perhaps just his genuine personality rather than any indication of true descent. He will remain loyal. P.S. I believe he is aware that he is being watched, and also that that is the entire point. Right, offering my services. Faded print on the reverse side of this sheet indicate this parchment's original purpose, Nortale's hostile house rules. To whom it may concern, my name is Tobia Narth. I'm a steerswoman lately of Elturel, where I piloted every class of vessel through the port without a single incident noted in the Harbor Master's log over 22 years. I did not come to this city for charity. I came for refuge and honest work, but the authorities have made it clear they have no interest in that. They have seized my coin and granted me a 10-day to secure consistent employment. So I offer my services to you. I can keep a ship still and silent in choppy waters, pilot through dark of night or heavy storm, and have of late developed a healthy respect for my clientele's privacy. I'll take your members where they need to go. What they do there is entirely their own business. Should that business frustrate the city authorities, I consider that an added bonus. Yours, Tobia. Register of Goods Received An inventory of goods passing through the guild hall ranging from basic food items to exotic alchemical blends of indeterminate purpose. Entries from the past 10 days grow increasingly thin, underscored by a note scrawled in the margins. Stone Lord hitting supply depots. Advise winding down most entertainment enterprises until he's been dealt with. You ever get bored of standing in this alley? Oh no! Pay to do nothing but scratch my arse! Dream job this is! Not my dream. Another step forward. Watch your elders and learn. 
Just like when I was a child. Guild ring. A Kalashite emeralds are embedded in this heavy silver ring. Well, there's a few notes here. A campaign report. A field report indicating the status of the guild's war against upstart new rival, the Stone Lord. Oscar Fetcher Hollorn, unknown. Fetcher's brats taken into guild hall. Goblin Benny, driven to ground, workshop in Bloomridge destroyed. Sewer keepers. Slain, hideout burned. Body of Kingpin, Genamine, a Kapali not recovered. Bellbreakers, unknown. Reward the nail investigating. Children of Horror. Pursued Stone Lord alone. Dozens of bent iron coins. Cruise holy symbol. Found bloodying a fountain in steeps. Pleading letter. A Guildmaster. I hope you remember me. I knew you when you were a little, or still little Estelle. I helped your parents search for you in those dark days when you were missing. And celebrated with them when you found your way back. His new guild rates are strangling business. I've sought an audience with your Busar Busar? Bursar already. He tells me it's wartime, and city needs a well provisioned guild. I tell him and you, the city will still need its cobblers when all of this is done. Please, don't forget where you came from. Custom mean. Letter from the Apothecary Master of the Guild I would not have escaped your notice that I have doubled my latest batch. Consider this my parting token, free of charge, as I regretfully inform you that I'll be leaving your employ. You have long appreciated the craft of alchemy, without moral compunctions, and it appears our Archduke to be feels much the same. He is an old acquaintance, and he's offered an opportunity I simply cannot refuse. It is my understanding that market pressures have caused your own operations to shrink considerably in recent times. So let us call this serendipity and part amicably. Yours, the Apothecary. Oh yeah, I never went to go speak with uh, Uktar. As he walked out when I spoke to the Guildmaster. He's probably somewhere in the Guildhall. Uh, Eyes and Ears report. Boss, been watching over the Harper's house like you asked. They're definitely a soft bunch took me for an orphan more than once and invited me in for supper. I don't think they need guild protection, mind. The half-work and the elf go armed. And even the little girl looks like she knows how to use that wooden sword she carries around. I can linger around a while longer if you're worried, though. That orc can cook. A seeking letter of credit. Asteen Bursar Uktar. While I entirely understand the guild's newfound need for funds and their role in protecting us from this dreadful stone lord, I simply cannot countenance the removal of your guards from my store. Our fair patriarchs rely on my business to keep them properly attired to face the many complexities that come with governing our city, particularly in times such as these. I suggest a compromise. Rather than paying your new and perfectly reasonable tithes outright, I'd be happy to receive a letter of credit for same, just as I extend my own valued customers to my own valued customers in times of trouble. In addition, I'd be happy to offer a 20% discount to your guild soldiers so that they might be properly outfitted when watching over my establishment, as well as a 50% discount to your own esteemed guildmaster. Is she not, after all, the city's fifth and unforgotten duke? 
I trust this will be satisfactory. Yours, Gerard Densum, proprietor of Fine Fabrics, Upper City. Hi, a note from Kingpin Rilsa. Boss, better you hear it from me first. I broke peace with the Pashas last night. Their headman appeared in my court, talking about how your day was done. He kept saying he knows how you think, and you haven't got the taste for this fight with the Stone Lord. I've enclosed his finger. Sorry for the mess. But he knows your mind a little better this morning. Little Kalimshin stands with you still. All of it. Real surreal. Mutiny loves company. Keen. Nothing so sad as an old wolf who doesn't know her time leading the pack is done. So consider this your notice. The Stone Lord's got you running scared. And now you're hiding behind the Zentarum to keep him with from your door. My crew and I won't cower in the guild hall along with you. If you can't beat the Stone Lord, I suppose we'll just have to join him. Letter from the Dockers Guild. A letter from the chairwoman of the Dockers Guild. Nine figures. From my esteemed organization to yours. The Fist and their Steel Watch still insist on searching every shipment that comes in. Trading vessels are trying their luck further up the coast, which means less work for my membership. If there aren't any shipments for your people to protect, then there aren't any protection fees for my people to pay. That would be a sad day for commerce, don't you agree? Nail status report. A letter signed by one Frewer the Nail, who appears to address the recipient with a mix of deference and familiarity. Boss, the bellbreakers are gone. The belfry they were nesting in was nearly torn clear off the temple down on Heapside. Definitely the Stone Lord. Investigating another, another line on weapons and warriors to wield them. We won't have you leaning on the Zentarum any longer than you need to. Frewer the Nail. I feel like this hatch takes us down to the guild hall, but we explored the whole thing. I don't remember seeing another exit out of there. A file, file under Diabolist. Kingpins. Take note of the Diabolist Helsic at the Devil's Fee. A person valuable to know if you need information on infernal matters. For example, when blackmailing a target with a fear of devils and the Diabolic. The rumor is that this Diabolist has even opened a transplanter portal to the Hells for Gortash back in his organized crime days. Useful knowledge if you want to terrorize someone by threatening to send them to Avernus. We have read that before. Upcoming knife fights we've also read. We've also read this book. 
Good, I'm hoping this does take us down to the guild hall because I'd like to, uh... Oh, it's a pressure plate. And once I was off of it, or maybe two of my companions went and stepped on it instead. I was gonna stack a bunch of crates on there. So I'm guessing just my uh, main character wasn't heavy enough to activate it. How much farther can I go? Don't be wary. This place is trapped. So I'm guessing the guild ring is another way to enter the guild hall, but we've... Oh, maybe up top here where the guild hall guards are. These boots have seen everything. They didn't try to stop us because we came up from below and had already spoken to the guild master. No one to threaten, no one to intimidate. I didn't explore in here yet, right? Right. Very surprised it's not a survival check here. Frog is up here. What did we not explore up here? Oh, there's a barricaded door. All right, well, let's check this out real quick. Watch right past that. I even realize. Flaming fist investigation underway. Stay back. Oh yeah, wasn't there a? Uh... They wrapped up an episode here beside these guys. or started one here. And I meant to read this sign. I maybe we spotted it then, but I forgot to check it out. The humble home of Frank Pear Tree. A soul coin. Great idea. Do you remember which way we came? Left. Chop Left. chop. Down the stairs and oh, what's up? That might be worth a look. Well, his body's intact, so let's try talking to him. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Maybe you die. Uh, Gale's hood red. Don't give him that El not Elminster. Um, Edwin look.
What happened to you? Killed. Murdered. Yep, I gathered that already. <laughs> uh, how were you killed? Limbs locked up, then hand cut off. What was your job? Feeding barracks. So I'm guessing he doesn't know number five. Or six. We already know who the killer was. What were you doing when you died? Making me soup. Ruined now. I suspect it would be. Uh, who are you? Frank Pertree. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Bloodied note. The scrap of bloodied paper is scrawled in an erratic, excitable hand. You've been picking where you should in Pear Tree. Placing the Lordlings fire spitters throughout my city. Disgusting. They leave no blood. There's no art to it at all. Just burnt ash and corpse cinder. While I threw your basement, here is I pen this. It's rather large. Roomy. I never find all the bits of you if I spread them out here properly. Pretty sure we've read those before. I could be mistaken. Petri's hatch key. Probably a rushed copy of a small iron key. I've read that before. Let's say parchment. Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn the scrap of parchment. No, no. Those wishing to face the Dread Lord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses of murder by the Cult of the Absolute. Frame the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in Blood Aspirant. We've read this one before. We have this in our inventory. Is a big corpse. Courageous little Kimabeth. old news as well. I should have read this too, right? Sounds familiar. Read that one too. The Hell's Unleashed. I'm pretty sure we've read this. Yeah.
Federal contracts and bargains. Yeah, we've seen that too. And that. An offer. Dear Mr. Pear Tree, you come highly recommended by a select few. Not merely for your business acumen, but also for your ambition. That is why I am writing to you. A question of ambition. I have in my possession a tremendous quantity of infernal iron. Its acquisition is immaterial. What matters is this. I shall need assistance distributing the weapons forged in this exquisite iron. I shall need someone ambitious. Someone with less than scrupulous connections. Someone, Mr. Pear Tree, like yourself. That, Mr. Pear Tree, was the carrot. I often find it makes an excellent bedfellow to the stick. Consider your position. A less than scrupulous set of connections doesn't just make you valuable to me. It would also make you invaluable to any number of upstart city watchmen or flaming fists ready to make rank. It would really be a terrible tragedy for such a bright potential to be extinguished in this way. I eagerly await your correspondence. Yours in faith, and Gortash. I assume that I can't talk to either one of them, right? We'll try first. The corpse has nothing to say. The corpse remains silent. Oh, Cloud Severed Arm. I think Shadowheart's carrying that around. Clown's arm. It's thrown its last custard pie by the look of it. Yagashara the second. A note found on the corpse of a tall man in the lower city. The effigy of Yagashura, who burned his mortality. What use his heart? He thought himself a titan, but died whispering for his mother. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood, or in the red. One of the uh, ball spawn. One of the five from uh, Baldur's Gate 2. Of generic plus two piece of equipment. I enhance weapons sales ledger. This ledger records acquisitions and sales in Gortash's infernal weapons trade. Infernal iron acquired from diabolic sources. Use thereof in forging enhanced arms. Excuse me. Uh, use thereof in forging enhanced arms and armor and sales and distribution through Gortash's network and to other wholesalers such as the Zentarum and the Knights of the Shield. The final entry is as follows. Note for Lord Gortash. The Knights organization appears to be collapsing and sales to them are in steep decline. However, this is more than made up for by shipments to our new contacts in Om, and the Atkala receipts uh, next month should make everyone happy. Pear tree. My gratitude. Uh, dear Mr. Pear Tree, our business proceeds without fault and with lucrative profit. You find the success reflected in the upcoming deposit to your personal account. Should you continue to be such a willing tool, I can see many more deposits of similar magnitude making their way into your coffers in future. I saw you spent the last payment with exceptional wisdom. Your new abode in the lower city is rather lovely. Men of both means and taste are exceedingly rare these days. I'd be so distraught for you to lose this beautiful home to a terrible accident of fate. Discretion is a key pillar of continued home ownership, after all. You need not respond to this letter. I'll write if you're needed further. Yours in faith, Enver Gortash.
waste a step. All right, looks like we're done here. All right, let's head back to the Hag Survivors, and we'll take care of that next time. Make sure I don't forget about uh, Mystic Carrion over there. Why is Korra so marked as a murder target? Right, so that's the uh, priority target. I think we're most done over here, because I don't think we can go down here, right? Pretty sure that's all locked off. Yeah. I'll double check anyway before we proceed, but looks like we're almost done with this uh, section of the city. Let me go through this wall to the next one. Cool. Well, either way for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.